Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another theme park obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm at California Adventure to check out the Food and Wine Festival for 2024. So how about you and I dive right in. And with BAM, just like that, I've made my way to the parade corridor where all the action is happening this season for the Food and Wine Festival. There's a lot going on. And of course, got the Sip and Savor Pass, which was actually purchased by a good friend, Jen. Nice Happy to birthday, see you. Dylan. Yeah, thank you so, so much. <laughs> yeah, my birthday's in a couple days. And Jen was like, you know what? You deserve the Food and uh, the Wine Sip and Savor Pass. And if you notice, and Jen didn't know this, uh, yeah, they don't have the tabs on them anymore. They're, they're gone. They are no more, which is actually a good thing. I like that they don't have the taps on them anymore. It's a little bit easier. Yeah. And yes, it is a rainy day today, but that's not going to stop us from consuming everything. And then Jen picked us up a uh, like pretty much a, a food guide here for Food and Wine Festival. They have these for all the festivals. And yeah, we're just going to kind of skim through here to see what we want. And this was what, the uh, stroganoff? Yeah. It's actually uh, impossible beef stroganoff. So and there you go. Farm I want to try to get like a, a vegan or a vegetarian uh, option uh, today. Oh, I saw that, the this popsicle. Is yeah, oh yeah, the... That's the old-fashioned. Old old-fashioned. This yeah. was what was interesting to me, the Baja-style fish taco. That's plant-based. Oh! Like, I've never had plant-based fish, so I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that, I don't but know. this is number one on my list to try, the carnitas-style pork Oh, belly. see, no, I won't do that because oh, I'm not a fan of pork I belly. I love pork <laughs> belly. I'm not a fan of that, but that's that's all you. You know, maybe I'll try the, the, the fish taco. That's not fish. I'll give that a try, you know? <laughs> not fish, fish taco. No. We got some... Pulled barbecue pork mac and cheese. So it looks like we got a couple of returning items as well. Not everything's going to be new at the Food and Wine Festival. PB and J whiskey shake. Oh dang! Okay, we're actually going to start our journey over here by Monsters Incorporated at the Earth Eats and LA Style. They have a few items we want to try over here, so let's jump in line and grab them. And by the way, if you get lost or anything, you don't really know where the booths are. They have plenty of information scattered around the park to tell you where everything's at. Okay, our items are obtained from LA Style. We got the Carnita Style pork belly and the Baja Style fish taco, and this is actually actually not fish, it's a vegetarian option. Or actually, it's a vegan option. And we also ordered more items from other booths. That's actually a really good tip. If you know what you want at the other booths in the festival, you can order them at one booth and they'll give you a long receipt and you just kind of check it off as you go instead of having to wait in each of those lines. All right, here it is, the moment of truth. <laughs> oh no, is it not good or is it? That's amazing. Oh, okay, it's good. False alarm, everybody. <laughs> That, yeah, the mac is good. Oh, it's got a kick. Oh, it's a little spicy. It's got, yeah, it's got some tahini in it. It's got a kick. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if the crying baby in the background agrees with you, but... All right, so okay. what's the final verdict here? So as far as pork belly goes, it's not the best piece of pork belly I've ever had. Okay, okay. But I do like it. It's good. Yeah, it's I mean... Good. I think... It's not as melty as you want it to be, but... I mean, yeah, I mean, it is a theme park at the end of the yeah. day. You know, they got to yeah. make this stuff in, in like huge batches. So it, it makes sense. Next up is the not fish taco. Okay, that's pretty solid. That actually does taste like a Baja fish taco. I was just telling Jen right now, if I had three tacos in front of me and this one was like in the middle and I didn't know it was in there, I probably would not tell the difference. It, it does kind of have like a fishy taste to it, which is, which is interesting. Very flavorful. I love the pico on top and I, it looks like an avocado like crema or whatever. Really good dish. I think Jen and I both agree, solid first choices. You know, remember the last time we did the Food and Wine Festival? I don't know if it was last year or the year before. It really wasn't like, wasn't a home run. It was it, super disappointing. Yeah, it was disappointing. <laughs> so, so far we're, we're, we're loving it. Okay, we finished up with LA style. Look at this, a trolley duel. Trolley duel, everybody. Calm down, who's gonna win? All right, this one won. This one won the battle, six, two, three. Okay, after a short journey through the wilderness, we stumbled upon the peppers caliente to pick up the chili riano empanada and the shrimp papas locas. And I'm totally saying all that wrong, but you know what? <laughs> this is uh, this is the experience you get here on Theme Park Obsession. The first two items were really good, so I'm looking forward to these and I'm hoping they're just as good because, hey, if we're uh, four for four here, then yeah, we're doing really, really good throughout this festival. Okay, Jen is already consuming the, uh, the empanada. Empanada, right? That's what it is? Okay. Is it, is it solid? Uh, I can't tell. The, the faces are... It's so good. Oh, no, heck yeah. Yes. One of the best items I have ever had. Oh, dang. Yes. 2024 yes. Food and Wine Festival. We yes. see you. Yep. We see no, you. That might be the best. Oh. That might be the best thing that I've ever It's, it's happening, everybody. It's, it has <laughs> been... It's happening right here. The best item. 
is is this. It's it's guys, it's the best item. Look, best item. Right? Yeah. Wow. That's actually a that's solid. Yeah, legit. Absolutely legit. Good job, uh, Disney, on that one. Now on to the shrimp. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of uh, liquids going on. So, and this looks to be a little spicy because of the peppers on there. Right off the bat, not as good as the other item. The other item is the Shining Star from that booth. The shrimp, it's okay. It kind of tastes like, low-key kind of has like a, like a freezer dried taste to it. It might just be a bad batch of shrimp. I don't know. But, um... Potato on there is, is okay, but the empanada for the win, absolutely. It's giving Taco Bell. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's Taco Bell. It's like Taco Bell, like cheap nacho cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like fast food shrimp dish, not, not it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put you over here. We're gonna put you in the bushes. Okay, four items down, and out of those four items, three of the items were really flavorful, overall satisfying, and I would get them again. To be honest, like out of the, out of those three, from the four, solid. Now remember, it's not just the food and the wine here at the Food and Wine Festival. It's also the entertainment. But because of the rain, they might not be doing too much of the entertainment today. They actually might have some bands over by the Paradise Garden area. But that's what's really cool about the Food and Wine. I love the Food and Wine Festival here. They have music playing. It's live entertainment. There's crafts for the kids. Of course, you got all the rides and attractions at California Adventure to add to all of the tasty treats that you have. So it's, it's a lot of fun. OK, next up, we got the olive oil cake and the pulled pork barbecue mac and cheese. It's funny, that looks like an ice cube on top of that, <laughs> but it's not. Jelly. It's like a little jello thing. So here we go. It's barbecue mac and pulled pork mac and cheese. It tastes exactly how you would think it would taste. It's yeah. nothing like earth shattering, you know? It's an easy dish, super easy. It just tastes like mac and cheese, barbecue sauce, and some and some pork. That's that's about it. I mean. But it's like the worst mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, really? I thought it was okay. It's, it's boring. It's like. There's, okay, I see what you're saying. Like, a five-year-old would probably like this dish, but yeah. if you have a refined palate, that ain't for you. Yeah, it's it's not super complex. I mean, I, I still think it's a solid dish because it's simple, but yeah, there's it, there's just cheese in here. There's no other extra flavors. You don't really even get garlic or anything like that. There, there's nothing else in it, you know? Like, I could have, you know, honestly, maybe a little spice would it would be nice in here. But this is the food and wine festival. <laughs> You're supposed to be, like, showcasing. Flavors. Not everything has to be elaborate, but no. it needs to at least be exciting and a little bit interesting. This is so boring. And just, like, <laughs> it tastes like um, a TV dinner, you know? Like, oh, okay, yeah, it does kind of taste like a TV dinner. You're right about yeah. this. It's like, a, like one of those, like, Salisbury steak yes, kind of dinners yes, you get. What was, yes. like, what was the company that made those? Uh, Swanson banquet, or something? Banquet, Swanson, Banquet, and there was another There's one. There's another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's bad. I would I would honestly get it again, but again, like sometimes I don't mind the simple things, but I know exactly what Jen is talking about. Like, yeah, it is the food and wine festival. We could be a little bit more adventurous with the flavors here. Okay, come on, olive oil cake. Don't fail us now. It tastes like a lemon cake. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's just like lemon cake. Like, yeah. It kind of tastes like this. Kind of tastes like that Starbucks lemon cake. Tastes like a, I don't know. I'll give it a few points above the Starbucks. Lemon sure. Cake. Yeah. <laughs> now I've never had olive oil cake, so I don't have anything oh, to man. judge it against. Jen, on the other hand, she's had olive oil cake, and olive oil cake is one of my favorite desserts to eat, actually. And if you're a fan of olive oil cake, don't get this thinking it's gonna taste like that at all. It's a nice lemon cake. Like if you like lemon, I'm gonna say yeah. That that tastes more it's like sweet. It's good, but it's not an olive oil cake. It's like a lemon pound cake. That's like what that is. How was the ice cube? <laughs> I was expecting it to be like lemon jello. No, it's flavorless jelly. <laughs> and if you're gonna be eating something that texture, it needs to have a flavor. Yeah. That's not okay. <laughs> in Tokyo, they had a lot of that. They had a lot of yeah. like jelly stuff in Tokyo, uh, Disneyland and Disney Sea. But they had like strawberry flavor, raspberry. So it was actually really good. But yeah, I, this no, is a miss here. <laughs> it almost has like a medicinal taste to it. Yeah, because it's flavorless gelatin. Yeah, it's like they just put Knox gelatin in a thing and 
in a mold and then we're like, hey, this would be cool on top. <laughs> okay, another round. Here we go. We're doing the mimosa flight. And what's really awesome is the cast member that was working the booth was uh, hearing about our <laughs> really bad olive oil experience. And he decided to make some magic and give us complimentary the raspberry cake that they had there. So hopefully this is really good. Shout out to the Disney cast members today. They've been really helpful. And hey, I mean, we love some Disney magic. Okay, and what's cool about the flight is they give you a little uh, card here that tells you what's going on. So we have one, two, and three, and they're labeled. So I'm definitely not the, the best connoisseur when it comes to this stuff. So you're not gonna get this out of control review. We're just having fun. We're gonna tell you which one's good and which one's not good. Cheers. Bye. Okay, that's pretty good. Sweet. It's sweet and very strong. Seco with lemonade, rock melon, and chrysanthemum syrups. Oh, it's also This is this is pretty legit. On it, if you had like a full glasses, you'd probably be like a little messed up. This is a. Uh, it's actually kind of strong. I mean, it's just prosecco, so it's not like. What kind of prosecco is this? Okay, number two is a little different color, and it's because it's a hibiscus rose mimosa. So prosecco with hibiscus tea and rose syrup. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, this one's good. I like the first one better. I like the first one better. A lot less sweet. I'm definitely, yeah. the rose is really like. The rose is very powerful, yeah. Yeah. And you, that's the first it's thing you taste. It's very Oh yeah. I think strength wise, it's the, still the same level of strength as far as the alcohol content, um, but definitely not as sweet. There's, there's again, that rose flavor that hits you right in the face right when you take that first sip. Now, the last one that I think I'm gonna like the most is the apricot lavender mimosa prosecco with apricot and lavender syrups. Cheers. Ooh. That's really good. That's really good. That is solid. OMG, oh. yeah. Okay, Food and Wine's back. Food and Wine Festival is back. It's back, everybody. It's back. Uh, again, no one cares. See, I, I had a feeling I was gonna really like that. That is really good. Mm. Dang. Anything, I'm a sucker for lavender. Oh yeah, lavender stuff is great. It's, it's, oh man, I would get this one just again. I, I would get all three of them with, with this. Okay, raspberry, raspberry cake. cake. Here we go. Why is the texture of this closer to an actual olive oil cake than the other one? That's really good. Oh my god, that's so that's good. That's way better than the, the oh, yeah. olive oil. Maybe that's the olive oil no, one. No joke, no joke. Like they mixed up the recipes. No, that's so good. That is really good. The cake is like super moist. Oh, yeah. And the raspberry flavor is there and it's not too overpowering or anything. It's really nice. Let me see what, the, don't mind my thumb. Don't mind my thumb, <laughs> pretend it's not there. But yeah, you got little chunks of raspberry inside. Solid. Okay, this booth for the win. This booth for the win. Definitely up there with some of the best desserts they've done for the Food and Wine Festival, I think. That, that is that is very, very good. 10 out of 10 would totally recommend. Oh yeah, look at this. It's definitely coming down now. Heck yeah, at least we got some coverage here. Okay, flight rankings. What do you, what do you give it? What do you give the rankings? I say apricot lavender okay. is number one. Hibiscus rose number two and chrysanthemum number three. So the reverse of what we did. Okay, I would say number three is top pick. This will be second pick and then last pick. All respectively, though, they're all really good. Okay, we've made our way to the festival beer garden where I think I'm gonna do one of the beer flights and this might be my last like little beverage thing for this particular video. I. I'm not really a big fan of beer, but there was a couple on there that sounded pretty good. So why not? Why not do a flight? Okay, never mind. They don't have anything I like, so we're, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep moving on. The one beer that I wanted to try was the peaches and cream beer, and I was like, okay, that sounds kind of cool, but they didn't have it. They don't. They won't get it until the end of the week. So I'm like, all right, I'll skip. Okay, we haven't pooped our pants yet. We're gonna continue our food journey with the pizza flavored wings at Cluckadoodle Moo. Okay, it comes with a ranch dipping sauce. It's it's warm, by the way. That that might make me poop my pants on. Honestly. Oh, because it was sitting underneath the wing. Yeah, a little, yeah. All right, here we go. They're all right, they're, they're okay. They're so dry. Like the chicken is oh, it's so dehydrated. If these were not as dry, it would be, uh, yeah, it would, it would definitely kick it up a couple notches. And the seasoning needs <laughs> And the seasoning is like, there needs to be a, I don't know, the seasoning doesn't, it doesn't, boring. it doesn't taste like pizza. It just tastes like, it's so boring. Yeah, I don't know. I would say like overall though, with our, with our honesty, food and wine's a little bit better than last year for me, just so far. We're, we still have a couple more things to try, but 
yeah, the, the chicken was whatever. Honestly, the best thing for me was still the raspberry pie and the mimosa flight. That, that was excellent. Yeah, and the empanada. And the raspberry cake. And then I also really loved my matcha fig latte. Oh yeah, the matcha fig latte. That's another winner. But now that we've conquered the wings, I think we're gonna make our way back down that way. Okay, so there's two items that I've been wanting to try and it's the impossible beef stroganoff, which is a, is it vegetarian or is it vegan? I think it's vegan. So that's vegan. Uh, because I always like to show vegan or vegetarian items every so often here on the channel. And there's another item, the ice cream bar that's like an old fashioned. I wanna try that Oh, too. I lied, it's vegetarian. It's oh, it's vegetarian. Vegan. Okay, the, the beef stroganoff is vegetarian. But we're gonna, we're gonna go over and grab those two items and talk about them a little bit more. Okay, here we go. We got the frozen old fashioned with some of the popping pearls on there. I'm assuming that's like the bitters, you know? I, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think that's what it looks like. I guess we'll see. And then that is a peach cobbler alcoholic beverage. Now Jen has already tried some, and is it is it good? It is so delightful. Oh, it well. tastes like a peach cobbler. So we got 100%. a we got a winner there. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so good, right? That is deadly, my friends. That is really good. Not super strong or anything. But there is moonshine in here, so it can sneak up on you. This is excellent. That is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, some of the alcoholic beverages today have been really, really good. Okay, here we go. Cheers. This is uh, non-alcoholic, by the way. It doesn't taste like an old fashioned. I'm not getting any bourbon taste in there. No it's bourbon taste. It's a bourbon flavor. Yeah, it says bourbon flavored ice cream. Like, the popping pearls, I think, are supposed to be like a bitters because I do taste a hint of orange in there. Yeah, it this tastes like a creamsicle. Yeah, 100%. It that's, yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. A that's 50, a creamsicle. 50 50 bar. There you go. It's good. Yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't call vanilla, it an old fashioned. It's like a vanilla ice cream with an orange tangerine drizzle. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I would rename that. I would just call it like a 50-50 bar or something. I don't know. Because that's exactly what that tastes like. But yeah, overall, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's super refreshing, especially if it was like a really hot day. Obviously, today, that is not the case. But a warm springtime day, this would be excellent. And it's already pretty good as it is right now. Because, yeah, they got the popping pearls. You got the nice orange flavor with the, uh, the, the base of the ice cream just tastes like a vanilla. You know, like it kind of just tastes yeah. like a vanilla ice cream. So yeah, exactly what we were saying earlier, 50-50 bar, orange creamsicle, that's what uh, this is giving off. Still working on it. That right there, that is, that's still the best thing at that booth. This, this is good, but that and the matcha latte thing, yes. Yes. winners. So we're gonna try one more thing and that is the impossible beef stroganoff. And you know, I like beef stroganoff, so yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. Got the tail end of the monorail there. And our last item for today, for today's video. That is the beef stroganoff. This is a vegetarian option. And it's probably because of this right here, this like little cream. This is probably not vegan. But uh, yeah, here we go. Those noodles have been sitting under a heat lamp probably for a while. That, that, dang, dang it. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's whatever. Well, that was mushroom, I didn't get any of that. Yeah, this is mushroom. It's not beef, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when I had the mushroom with the noodle, I was like, okay, it's not bad. But I was like, I didn't get any of the impossible beef, and I just tried the impossible beef. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's not the that's best item. Gross. Oh, yeah, that's, no, no, no. I no, mean, that's just straight up bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's yeah, bad. It's, it's not good, y'all. It's not not good. It's bad. It's <laughs> bad. <laughs> And the rain, rain, rain came down, down, down on our lovely evening here at California Adventure. Food and Wine Festival conquered. Not all of it, but some of it. Okay, so our food journey has come to an end. Overall, like, I, I would say that it's better than last year. By like, a, by a couple smidgens, but not by much. There were some really great hits, but there was also some very far misses. Oh yeah, like, the shrimp uh, over by Grizzly was a miss. Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> Taco Bell. Uh, the beef stroganoff right now, miss. And a couple other misses in there, which is unfortunate because, yeah, I mean, it's Food and Wine Festival. They have all year to think about this kind of stuff. And it's kind of crazy how they still miss that much, yeah. you know? What, but, was, what was your favorite? My favorite was probably the raspberry pie. 
The raspberry, oh, the raspberry almond cake. Yeah. Oh yeah, the raspberry and almond cake. That was really, really good. And we just got that by accident. Yeah, happy it was accident. a happy little accident. That was a magic moment and that was magical because it was good. It was really yeah. good. And that mimosa flight and the empanada, I think the empanada, the raspberry uh, cake, those two were really, really good. And the matcha fig latte was so good. Yeah, yeah. What was your like favorite item? Was it the empanada? The empanada, yeah. As far as food goes, the empanada. I really liked the pork belly too though. Oh yeah, the pork belly. But the empanada was just probably one of the best things I've ever eaten at any of the festivals. Yeah, see that's, so, that's a pretty bold yeah, statement. It was, it was really up there. Yeah. yeah, so there was definitely some good items. And again, uh, you know, we keep it real here and <laughs> I'm not gonna showcase everything because yeah, it's just like a waste. And two, like if it doesn't sound good, we're, we're not gonna get it. And unfortunately, that some of the things that sounded really good ended up being a mess. So uh, it, it comes with the territory. It is what it is. Don't eat those dry things. <laughs> Okay, we finished up with the park and we made our way over to the Grand Cal to seek some shelter from the storm of the century. And how neat, look at this over here at Grand Cal, they got some towels available for people to dry off because yeah, it is, that's what Jen's doing right now. <laughs> because, because it is pretty brutal out right now. Finished up at the Grand Cal, we made a pit stop at Hearthstone Lounge, had a drink, had some more tasty treats and just kind of enjoyed the vibes because we love Hearthstone Lounge and they had some live entertainment there today, so that was really nice. But. As you can see, we're back in California Venture for the last 10 minutes until park closed because Jen hasn't seen World of Color since 2010. <laughs> so we might, we're gonna go see if we can uh, catch the show and then we'll call it a day. The next day we wanted to hurry up and get out of the park and i figure why not do the closeout here in the theme park obsession office yeah it was raining and cold so we were like let's just hurry up and get back to the parking structure but uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed today's food and wine video from california adventure honest fun and yeah some good items there uh, there was a, a couple good items that we were trying and then there was a few that were not so good but i'm glad we tried them anyway and i hope all of you enjoyed today's video if you did go ahead and let me know by smashing the thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel and you love these videos from disney or some of your other favorite theme parks because i cover a bunch of them consider subscribing to the channel we're almost at 100,000. we're getting there slowly but surely so please help out by hitting that button down below if you're not already subscribed because i have brand new videos every single week that you won't want to miss out on. Be sure to check out my Instagram account and other socials by following the links down below in the description. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.